Paul, congratulations, your first championship win with Derby County. You must be exhausted after that. Yeah, not as exhausted as the lads and the fans. I think I speak for everybody. You check your passport and your driving licence. Everyone's aged by about 10 years. It was an absolute tester. I mean, in fairness, the last home game was for a different reason. And this is, uh, you know, we stepped up a level, brought some fresh faces in. We obviously need to bring more fresh faces in. But to the man, I thought the lads worked really hard. Look, we... <laughs> There's certain games where you can't go toe to toe and press at the front of the pitch because they've got, and I don't mind saying it because the lads know this, they've got quicker, better athletes. So you just got to get picked off and look stupid. So we had to be succinct in our shape and we had to press from that and we had to counter from that. And fortunately, uh, we got a goal from that. And at times I thought we looked quite dangerous. But obviously, when the fatigue kicks in, uh, which it did, when we did win the ball back, uh, we couldn't see the wood through the trees and we gave it back to them too many times. But that doesn't go away from the fact of how proud I am. I said to him in there, I was prouder of them today than I was at home to Carlisle because I know how good the opposition are, how many questions they ask of you, how much pace they've got everywhere. And, and the, the lads literally gassed out. So And the fans gassed out as well, I think. Everyone uh, kept singing for the lads and the lads appreciated it. We've talked so many times about moments defining games and Caelan Jackson made the moment happen for you today. Former striker yourself, how difficult was that chance for him? Because he, he made it look easy. Yeah it, it, yeah, it does look easy, doesn't it? And you can feel the whole crowd going. It was like, um, um, what's that cartoon I used to love? Um, oh, God. Anyway, it will come to me at the end of the interview and you can edit it lovely. But um, it was like, yeah, catch the pigeon a little bit. But... He was through and everyone's going, go on, there's no one near you, just keep running. Just get, you could feel the whole crowd, including myself, like, go on, go on. And, but the, the thing is, as a player, you, you got a ball at your feet and you're running and you're thinking, don't mess this up, don't mess this up, this is a right chance to score. Come on, mate, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. And the whole time, like, it's like time slows down, really. So you can talk yourself out of it. That's the truth. And, and the best players don't. And Caden's um, took it really calmly, went round the keeper, and that is... Uh, an amazing feeling when you know you're just putting into an empty net. And even then, I've seen players miss it. I mean, I'm not saying he's Ronnie Rosenthal, but I've seen <laughs> players miss it where they think they've got it on lock. And it was a, a good goal um, and deserved of the way the lads broke from the press. So, uh, But it isn't easy. Um, I mean, all 30 of us, 30,000 of us, including myself, thought, well, this is a goal. But uh, until it hits the net, you just don't know. You defended fantastically, and we've been talking about one goalkeeper a lot in the last 24 hours. A word for Josh Vickers today. Yeah, Josh was, uh, uh, he looked a lot more like himself today, which is great. So, um, you know, we want two, uh, uh, sorry, two goalkeepers to compete. I mean, we've got three goalkeepers, respectfully. Uh, and, that, and that's what you want. And that's why you try and sign players that you, you, you think are, are better than what you've had. That sounds awful, but you want players that have got to push on. So, you know, our job as a football club is to sign another striker to compete with Jerry, to compete with Dage, to compete with Colo, and someone who comes in and the ones below are thinking, I'm not happy with that, okay, we'll train harder, get better. And that and that is what competition does. And that is why, you know, and and I thought Middlesbrough were excellent, by the way, and I think they'll be a top six team, but they're bringing two players on that they've paid four million each for. So, like we're competing against really good sides and that's why you want to be in this league. But to get three points is big and um, you need everything to go your way. And, and it, it felt like one of them days today where I thought everything would and Josh was a massive part of, of his contribution was uh, phenomenal. You did have a bit of adversity to come through. You lost two defenders in the first half in Kane Wilson and Aaron Cashin. Any updates on either of them? Uh, well, I think everyone knows that Cash was a uh, concussion sub. He, he was sort of... It looked a bit. I was a bit worried initially because he was moving strangely. I mean, you probably zoomed in and thought, it just felt like it. Yeah, it didn't look nice. Uh, he came off. He wasn't. I don't know if you noticed his smiley face when he came off, but he thought he could play on as players do, and he's definitely a competitor. So uh, I don't know if he's uh, if it's the. Con we took it as a concussion sub, um, and then Kane tightened up. He did. Uh, report a little bit of tightness on Thursday so we, we came off him but then he felt fine on Friday so that is hugely disappointing because you know in the in decisions when you're selecting the team if you know someone isn't perfect like Ryan's ledge so you know in the same way if Ryan was in my thoughts and he wasn't perfect I could play uh, um, the other one 
Kane, sorry. So, yeah, so I think he's like just tweaked his hammy. I think he's come off precautionary. But you're right, it isn't ideal. You go 1-0 up and you lose two of your players. So we had to shuffle the pack. And I don't know if you could see on the side of the pitch, but it was absolute mayhem trying to make the next sub because we were thinking, like, you know, I wanted to put Dej on because I thought Dej might give a bit more. But then I didn't want to take him off. I wanted to keep Aussie on the pitch, but I wanted to put fresh legs on. I mean, if I was mic'd up, Honestly, it would uh, be five minutes of pure entertainment. Uh, so that was confusing for us all. But luckily, we got the subs right, I think. Well, we won. So so I'm just really proud of all the group, the coaches, the fitness guys, the physios, the media, camera people, everyone, fans. The person who kindly opens the door when I come. And he gave me his pen today. He's my new favourite. Uh, so, yeah, so a good day. <laughs>